go. So here we have the teams prepping the canvas. At this point, we didn't receive all of our supplies, so we just went ahead and used what we had. Next stage, the projection. So a lot of things goes into designing and composing a mural. This mural, in discussion with Com Medicine, it was briefed that they wanted a certain size and after loads of discussions and meetings, all online of course, this was obviously during COVID, I was a bit rushed. I felt as though this should have been a two session program, but because of time restrictions, uh, they wanted it sooner, so we decided to go ahead and make it a one session program. Projecting the correct size, cutting it with the jigsaw, making sure things started to line up, having it ready to go so that by the time the teens started painting on it, everything is to the correct size and scale that the mural should be so that it fits accordingly to the wall. shape becoming a big uh, puzzle three puzzle pieces connecting uh, to the design so this was roughly a four foot by eight foot sheet of MDO board after priming one side making sure that this design was laid out and we're back in the classroom where teens are taking their time finishing some black outlines that needed to be finished and uh, day by day producing the first coat and second coat for this mural even though this was only a three-part mural there were a lot of uh, specific design decisions that were made so that the mural itself reflected all the things ComEd workers do. Um, so in the design, there was a lot of discussion of linemen, overhead, and of course, uh, underground. And, um, you know, the design was made to uh, invite the community of, you know, Chicago residents and how they would be interacting with ComEd employees doing their daily work. 
and that's how the final design was made. display mural somewhat finished uh, last day at Gately. This is when I start to do the final touches. So on the last day of Gately, the building itself had to be closed for holidays and whatnot. So from then on, the touch-ups had to be made at Gallery 37 building in downtown Chicago. And by this point, the mural itself was done, but needed the fine tuning and finessing of the final lines detail lines and of course uh, also I had to build the French cleat back support which is the back support for when this mural is hung up on the actual wall Matters allowed me to do the final touches at their Gallery 37 building. Um, yeah, as you can see here in downtown in the Loop. Always nice leaving after a day's work. But here you can see some of the detail work finally showcasing through the three-dimensional mural piece. Watching a few tutorial videos on how to make French cleats, I went to the hardware store and picked up the wood that was necessary and um, after a few measurements, cut the French cleats, took it back to the Gallery 37 building and applied it to the back of the mural itself. Chicago at the Chase Tower, uh, walking towards the Chase Tower. Uh, Com Edison uh, hired this uh, hanging installation company. Uh, these two individuals did an amazing job hanging and making sure the three-dimensional mural was in its proper place. I was very proud that my French cleats that I built uh, in order to hang the piece worked perfectly. First time making those French cleats, so I was very proud of that. And uh, the installation people did an amazing job hanging it up and ready for display. Installed, ladies and gentlemen, installed in this cool building. Finished installation. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.